My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. I worked at IRS over a decade. Me and my M&M men give you a thumbs up. Color coordinated today. Uh, thank you. My YouTubes are short, sweet, and to the point. Today I want to talk to you about what happens if the banks start reporting your bank account information to the IRS. Well, um, <laughs> it's a shit show if they do. I just, just want to let you know that. Uh, it's going to be a mess. You know, um, just want you to know all W-2s and 1099s and third-party information are already reported to the Internal Revenue Service. So you could go and look at your own IRS tax transcripts and you can find out all the information IRS has regarding income on your account. IRS.gov, go in your wage and income information and IRS will send you a report. So what does this mean if the banks start reporting all their information to the um, uh, to the IRS. How will that work? Well, very simply, IRS has what's called an underreporter. So if you don't put a 1099 or a W uh, W2, IRS knows there's a mismatch. So my guess is this is the way it's going to happen. The banks are going to go ahead and issue a report to IRS of the total deposits that you have in your bank account for a year. IRS is then going to match that up with your gross income on your tax return and probably build some algorithms in there to find out. They'll probably give or take 10 or 15 percent error on that for certain things. But at the end of the day, they're going to start matching up. We know from through different sources between 60 and 70 percent of people who have businesses do not report all their income. So what this is going to force uh, IRS and businesses and everyone to do is they're going to have to get in line because IRS is going to have a report on how much deposits you have put in the bank. And if it doesn't match up to your tax return, not exactly, there will be variance in there. If this all goes down, IRS audits are going to spike and they're going to catch hundreds of thousands of people. The IRS tax gap is about, I don't know, $450 billion of income they're not being reported. The IRS estimates they can close that gap in half by just in making sure your bank deposits add up to your tax returns. It's not good news. Make sure your bank and everyone does not support this act. Thank you.